This blue-gray gnatcatcher story takes place in the Pinery Provincial Park, which is located in southwest Ontario along the south shore of Lake Huron. The park is comprised of rare oak savanna habitat, the only such habitat in Canada. The sparse oak canopy and openness of oak savanna forests makes it a suitable nesting area for blue-gray gnatcatchers which nest throughout the park. Blue-gray gnatcatcher nests are located on top of deciduous tree limbs, typically located more than halfway up the tree at the outer part of the limb. They are often anchored to a small branch for support. Both the male and female choose the nest site and share the work of building the nest. Gnat catchers are meticulous nest builders. The two to three inch wide nest is an open cup made of grass, weeds, plant fibers, and strips of bark, and is lined with plant down, animal hair, and feathers. The nest is carefully camouflaged with lichen to blend in with the branch the nest is situated on. Being so small and camouflaged, nests can be surprisingly difficult to spot even though they are not hidden from view. The outside of the nest is wrapped in spiderweb and caterpillar silk for strength. The nest is slightly elastic to accommodate the juveniles as they grow. The incubation period is 11 to 15 days. The clutch size is usually three to five eggs. The pale blue spotted reddish dark brown eggs are about half an inch in length. Gnat catchers may raise one or two broods each season. Both male and female adult gnat catchers share in the work of raising the young chicks, including bringing food to their nesting companion, incubating the eggs and gathering food and feeding. In the Northeast, blue-gray gnat catchers primarily feed on small insects, larval moths, and spiders. They are busy foragers, flitting through dense outer foliage and hopping from branch to branch, peering with quick head movements to glean their prey. They quickly flick their long tail to flush their prey, which they then snap up while the gnat catcher is perched, hovering or darting into the air after them. Finally, after a month of incubation and nesting, fledge day has arrived. Small birds with shorter life cycles tend to have shorter incubation and nesting periods, and as a result, juveniles often fledge together. Indeed, these five juvenile gnat catchers all fledged within hours of this video being captured of the last moments these juveniles would spend together in their nest.
Driven by instinct, the first fledgling bravely leaves the relative safety of the nest and tentatively begins to explore the surrounding world. In a matter of hours, all four siblings follow its lead, though not without trepidation in some cases. When observing the juveniles, it was notable that birds have different personalities, just like humans. This is the busiest time for the adults who not only must continue to forage for food, but must track and feed the fledglings as they move away from the nest site. The process of foraging, feeding, protecting, and monitoring is relentless until the juveniles can learn to forage for themselves. As soon as the fledglings are out of the nest, their instinct is to move higher, which is somewhat awkwardly accomplished by a combination of short, unstable flights and scrabbling as they work their way up the tree. It will take some time to gain strength and learn the fine flying skills needed to forage for themselves, but basic flight knowledge is clearly inborn. By noon on fledge day, all five juveniles had worked their way up to the top of the tree canopy to begin the next phase of their lives. <laughs>